Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, we are on 420, so happy 420 for those of you who celebrate it. Um, hopefully some of you guys left some milk and cookies out for Willie Nelson. <laughs> anyway, you just had a card fly out. So it says it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. We just had that new moon in Aries last Sunday. Not the one that we just passed, but the one before. So this is about it's time to move forward. It, whatever business ideas, new life ideas, uh, career relationships, all of those types of things. It is time for you to take action, okay? So let's go ahead and read that card for you. New moon in Aries for the collective spirit. Where are we? All right, it says, the flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a suburbly positive sign. I'm sorry, superbly positive sign if there is something you want to happen in your life. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac, but you're on the way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for, but the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution? Don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people as well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. Additional meanings is do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12 month plan. A new male is coming into your life and don't even think about giving up. Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. So the new moon in Aries is the first of the 12 to 13 new moons of the year. If you're committed to working with all the lunations, then the new moon in Aries is the right time to start. And drawing this card, no matter when you do it, signifies it's also the ideal time to start your moon work, such as setting your intentions. For those of you who watched yesterday's reading, we had a lot of fire in yesterday's reading. So I kind of feel like, you know, we did just come out of uh, the sun and Mercury in Aries, and we just went into Taurus. So for some of you, maybe this has something to do with something that you already took action on and it's going to start really gaining its momentum, okay? So Spirit, all right, here we go. So Seven of Wands, the Seven of Wands is all about, you know, standing the higher ground. I feel like you have a lot of things that are coming at you at, at, the, at this time. You know, this is just life, people, circumstances, you know, just everything, especially with everything going on in the world. So it's like really having to, you know, ward off people and um, defend yourself, really. This is a very defensive energy. Again, and there's the Wands energy, too. Five of Pentacles is your challenge. Um, the Five of Pentacles is about, um, you know, feeling left out in the cold possibly for some of you. Maybe you're defending yourself from somebody who left you feeling out in the cold. So somebody who maybe wounded you in some way, uh, and that's entirely up to, you know, uh, your perception on that one. Spirit, please show me. Uh, all right. Four of Wands in the reverse. So maybe there's some type of upheaval. This has already happened. There was some type of upheaval in your living circumstances. So for some of you, you could have lost your home, all right? And that's why you're feeling left out in the cold and feeling quite battle-worn. Look here, he's got two separate shoes on, okay? And here, mind you, he's got uh, a bandage on his foot. So for some of you, be careful. Maybe you broke your foot. Maybe you broke your ankle or you know somebody who has. Maybe they're going to need some type of help and you need to help them, okay? Okay, so Spirit, please show me. The High Priestess. The High Priestess is all about secrets that got revealed in the past. The show is showing up in the past positions. The letters B, B, I'm sorry, B or J could mean something to you. Maybe you're fighting someone off uh, that has something to do with the initials B or J. They could have those letters in their name anywhere. First, middle, or last name, okay? All right, next cards that came out, two of pentacles and the six of 
cups. For some of you, you're weighing up whether or not you want to offer something to someone from the past. And maybe that's on your mind. Should I say hello? Should I tell them? But I feel like, you know, you're weighing it up right now. Um, I just want to say for others of you, maybe you're juggling your finances at this time. And for others of you, maybe you're having to rob Peter to pay Paul. I know money's been a little bit wonky and we are in tourist season. So this has everything to do with value systems now. Okay. So maybe for some of you, you're afraid that you're not going to be able to afford a new home or even afford the home that you're in, especially with everything that the government just pulled on everybody here, everybody quit your fucking job and then stay home and we'll take care of you. Here's $600. Here's $1,200. Here's $1,400. And how many months did you all have to wait? I didn't get any of those checks, so I'm not saying anything. I didn't get a fucking dime, nor do I want it. And that's blood money. See, blood money. Because that does not come for free. That has a price. And it didn't pay any of your shit anyway. So I hope you guys invested it if you did. Spirit. All right. The fool. There it is. Here is you going off on a new journey. That's what this Aries card is talking about. So I feel like all of this shit has already happened since it's sitting in the present moment. Here it is, though. This is the fool. The fool says, don't act a fool. You know, if anybody calls you trying to give you this line of bullshit that, you know, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'll change. Oh, I'll be better next time. I think that you need to really look at the circumstances because I think that these people really um, took you off kilter. You know, I feel like you weren't being able to balance your finances. You weren't able to balance any of what was going on in your home. So I do want to say anybody offering you something sweet and kind and loving question it. Okay. Especially when I'm looking at the seven of wands and the five of pentacles and the four of wands in the reverse. So if your lover kicked you out of the house, Think about that uh, or a family member or a friend or any one of those things. It depends on who I'm tapping into. I do believe, like I said, you know, use your intuition when I'm especially when I'm looking at the high priestess here and you do have the fool. So it's like, don't be a fool and go back into that situation, especially when you it was so hard for you to get your ass out of it. You know, a lot of the time we, you know, we run headfirst into something and then it scares us and we think, oh, my God, did I make the right decision? Because two's about decisions. Should I have done that? Was that the best thing for me? You know, and it's like, should I call? Should I check in on them? Listen, you do what you want. But I can honestly say if you are constantly in a in a battle of these per people hurting you in any which way, I would honestly say it's not worth your time, your energy or your effort. That's what the pentacles is all about. Uh, how people are seeing you is the three of wands in the reverse. So for some of you, it's like, you know, the three of wands in the upright is somebody who is waiting for his ships to come in. For some of you, your ships are fucking stalled out. Okay. These are stalled out. Um, so it's like, maybe you're just waiting on something and there's a delay. Okay. There could be a massive delay. Again, you guys, we got more wands here. Seven of wands, four of wands, three of wands. So, and then we have the Aries card here. So Spirit, please show me for April 20th. All right, there it is, the Hierophant. So some type of legal action. Um, I do feel like there's some type of a legality here, or there could be a Taurus, an Aries, a Virgo, a Pisces, and sometimes that's an Aquarius too. So you could be dealing with any one of those suns, signs, excuse me, sun, moon, or rising sign. And, you know, the Hierophant for some of you, maybe you're deciding you want to do things in an untraditional way. Maybe it's like um, you've decided that instead of getting married, you want to just do a, a you know, um, it doesn't have to be with all the paperwork. For some of you, you are waiting on some paperwork. Uh, maybe you're waiting on that check. Maybe you're waiting on something from a hierarchy to release you of something so that you can be free. Maybe it's like you just paid off um, one of your debts and you're just waiting on the paperwork to show up to show that uh, it's already taken care of. So I do believe that that is maybe it's been stalled out, uh, but it will be coming in here shortly so that you can move on. Oh my God, here it is. So we've been waiting on the planetary alignment, you guys. This is all about our hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. This is all about having faith and healing. This is sitting in your hopes and fears, okay? I don't think that it should be a fear of healing. I think it's more of a fear of see how she 
she's naked. This is a fear of vulnerability. This is a fear of, you know, being raw. Maybe you're raw because of whatever happened here in the past. So, you know, and then everything's been moving so quickly, especially with all these wands. You want everything to just slow down so that you can, you know, see. But I will tell you at the bottom of the deck here, this is not the last card, but it is showing up. Um, this is destiny. This is destiny taking flight. This is destiny stepping in and destiny is what is moving this forward. Okay. One last card for April 40 or 40th. Wow. April 20th. All right. I don't know why I said that. So maybe it's somebody's 40th birthday. Happy birthday. Seven of pentacles is your outgoing message today, you guys. Uh, something I said, I feel like you are waiting on something. This is a card of waiting. We do have two sevens here. Um, at, with There it is. Some of you, it's time for you to get up and go. Two sevens here tells me that there is false people in your life that might try to come back in and tempt you with an apology. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like you need to defend yourself against the past, especially if you know that it's been a toxic pattern. At the bottom of the deck, here it is, this King of Cups. So this King of Cups is somebody who on their when they're on their good side, they're very emotionally mature. They're somebody who wants to offer you their cup of love. Uh, but I do feel like for some of you, you're just defending yourself against this person. For others of you, I feel like this could be, um, you know, I am seeing marriage, but I'm seeing a non-traditional marriage. For others of you, you're going to be getting your divorce papers in order. Uh, congratulations for you um, taking on this new identity because Aries is about our identity. It's who we show the world. The King of Cups in his negative aspect is somebody who is an alcoholic, uh, has any type of substance abuses, whether that's sex, drugs alcohol. Uh, this is somebody who is, yeah, this person comes with conflict. See, five of wands is competition. That's not healthy competition. Okay. So be mindful of this person who come tries to come back in. And I'm telling you, there's also for some of you, you need to schedule a reading with somebody who is intuitive uh, or a counselor or, and just so you guys know, the high priestess she knows things okay and the high priestess doesn't always share her knowledge so i do want to say kind of pull back a little bit it's okay to have healthy secrets you know especially for some of you who are in hiding right now you know maybe you walked away from a relationship and you're staying at a friend's house this person doesn't need to know where you are for others of you i do feel like there is some type of a soulmate connection here um and if this is a love reading which for some of you it definitely could be I think that your your prayers are being answered. I just think that you're a little afraid of answering the phone. Okay? Maybe somebody is messaging you on social media and you're afraid to say hi or and so this person is just patiently waiting. You know, they know that maybe you've been through some type of trauma, so you're just kind of holding yourself back. Um, but I think that at some point be willing to take a leap of faith. Just check it out. Okay? Uh, so the four major arcanas that we do have here is the High Priestess, which is all about secrets and it's all about using your intuition. Use your intuition. That's why we have these feelings within us. The next card is the Fool. The Fool talks to us about being willing to take a leap of faith, but don't be a fool. Always know that the Divine is here to watch you. By the way, these are Divine counterparts, okay? The High Priestess and the High Priest. Okay, they are divine counterparts. So for some of you, just so you know, you could be very well coming into contact with somebody who is just as spiritual or whatever, you know, religious or whatever it is. Maybe you're spiritual and this person's religious. Okay, and it's saying take a leap of faith. Why not? What do you have to lose? Um, but I do want to say, look at the pillars behind them subconscious conscious okay they're students they are looking up all right so i feel like learning the lesson but just so you know the, who if you are meeting someone here today um you know the yin to your yang just know that the two of you guys are very very spiritual and they are, you're both somebody that people look up to in the community otherwise this is certain aspects of yourself and the fourth major arcana that we have here is the star so make your wishes and make them big aim for the stars okay and master your emotions you could be uh emotionally um 
your emotions could be all over the place. You're just kind of like, whoa. For some of you, you are traveling today. You could very well be traveling by water, across water, because I am seeing the boats here in the background. So I feel like you might be a little disappointed. Um, and I feel like maybe you are traveling back home or trying to decide on whether or not you want to continue working on some type of a relationship, okay? So I think it's going to take time and I feel like you're just going to have to really use your discernment in this, okay? Hmm. Let's go ahead and find out the love reading. Spirit, please show me the love. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Trust. It showed up on its side. So it's like, do I trust this person or do I not? Use your discernment. Listen, when the Hierophant shows up in the reading, it's all about having God, the universe, show up in your reading. So it's saying, look at the keys down here. You hold the keys to unlocking whatever is going on here. It also tells me that you'll probably find a key that you've been looking for, okay? I am seeing that here. So don't forget to ask your guides and angels where the key is because the key will should be shown to you. So keep that in the back of your mind, however that plays out. For some of you, you're getting a key to your brand new home and it might be a little delayed, but you're working on that. So you could definitely be working with a banking institution and all those things. You're just gonna have to trust and rein in on those emotions, okay? So for others of you, if this is a relationship, I do wanna say that I Spirit just showed me the little kid back here. Uh, uh, this be mindful if you don't want to get pregnant wrap it up okay because I am seeing children too and I see naked so and a lot of wands and that could have happened yesterday <laughs> especially with the wands energy that we had yesterday holy shit all right so with that said love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So just trust in the divine. And if you guys are willing to learn the lessons and really take your time, uh, I do feel like you could overcome anything. And I do see children flying around in this, re in this card again. Whoa, okay, that's way too many cards. All right, so separation. We got separation. So for some of you, um, like I said, I do feel like you could definitely have been going through uh, separation for a minute and you guys might be coming back together. Maybe somebody that you're married to, somebody, you know, maybe this person was traveling for work, okay? So I just feel like, you know, not using your past circumstances to color the rest of your life. You know, it's time that we heal, you guys. Healing is so freaking important. I cannot stress that enough. It's like one thing, you know, to you can go on through life on autopilot if you choose to but if you guys could really learn to take a step back and actually um, understand that anything that is worth waiting for is going to be you know the best thing ever so if it's being separated from someone that you love you know then t only time will tell on whether or not this is going to go from you being separated to you to getting back together and living happily ever after see those are two older people right so worth waiting for, especially if you guys are wanting uh, a better life for yourself, though, something that you've never had. Maybe you weren't able to look up to your parents because they didn't have a happy, healthy, loving bond. Again, hurt people hurt people. And I say your parents because it says healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So for some of you, you need to work on that. That is your main focus, especially when this is. Otherwise, you know, this could be showing up in the reverse because that's what you've already been working on. So keep that in the back of your mind, you guys. All in all, not a bad day. I love this energy for you all. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. You guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps my channel grow, and I really appreciate it. Anyway, stay tuned for tomorrow. Take care.